I'm back. <laughs> I've been out for the last few days. I haven't been feeling well. Um, just, I, I think it's a combination of just seasonal fall allergies and some medication that I've been taking. And it just kind of like formed into a perfect storm. So I feel like I'm about 90% better, well enough to do reactions. Let's put it that way. And with that being said, I have Dr. Dre featuring Eminem and Skylar Gray. We're doing the explicit version because I found the explicit version of I Need a Doctor. And so I don't know if this is one of those songs that I've like heard before but didn't realize that this was that song. Um, or if I've just never heard it before, I feel like that happens to me every now and again on this channel that is like, oh, you know what? I've heard this song before. I didn't know that this was that song. Um, but, but it's one of those things where you hear the melody or like, you know, the one line that everybody continues to repeat, <laughs> like on a TikTok or something like that. Right. Um, chances are I've probably never heard this song though. All right. I link ways for everybody to show love and support to the artist in the description box below. Check it out when you get a chance. But we're going to go into this right now. Oof, this is an oldie. That's a beautiful view. Where was this filmed? It's gorgeous. Is he reminiscing? Is that him when he was younger? Yeah, it looks like it. I gotta tell you guys something here. That absolutely terrifies me. <laughs> Mountain views um, and, and, and just those windy roads terrify me. And so I'm literally feeling like anxiety in my chest right now, hearing the car go as fast as it's going through all of that. <laughs> and I know that sounds really stupid because I'm not in the car. I just, it, it, does anybody ever get like that? Does anybody ever have like something that they can just watch and it gives them like anxiety over it? I, I've never, I'm not someone who typically will get anxiety over things, but it's just, the views are gorgeous. But I feel like if I were to drive through that, I wouldn't be able to take in the views because I would be so focused on the road and not wanting to like, whew, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I'm like listening to it and I'm like, I, I'm, I'm like in my brain, it's like, calm down. You're not in the car. This is literally what's going on with me at this very moment. So <laughs> let's go. Jeez. Oh gosh, no. Oh. oh gosh. I need a second, y'all. 
Like, that is one of the things that probably terrifies me the most. I have to, like, move my screen a little bit because I've got, like, sunbeams coming in. God's got to talk to the sun on that one. I, I have no control over that. Um, that terrifies me. It just... It terrifies me. Something like that. Because you don't know if you're going to, you know, go over. <laughs> or if something... And that, what happened right there, is terrible on its own. It says, years later... We're just going to go with it. I needed a second. I'm so sorry. I know it seems like I'm such a, a weakling to see see something like that. But it truly, like everybody has like a major fear. Um, that's one of my major fears. And spiders. I know. Complete contrast. My, my husband is here for that reason. For the spiders. <laughs> Let's go. He just said that, and Eminem tends to speak about things that actually happened. He lost a son. Y'all, I did not know that. I feel like I'm looking at a movie. I really do. Fucking Michael, you gon' haunt me, but I'm out of options. There's nothing else I can do. Cause times where Eminem and Dr. Dre were like collaborating. 
was because no one else wanted to sign Eminem. Really? Like, how stupid were those people? Seriously. But did... Like, he's giving a lot of respect to Dr. Dre. And he's, like, really honoring him in this song. Did something happen to Dr. I, I mean, I feel, like, so out of the loop right now. Did something happen with Dr. Dre and, and like, Eminem? It was Eminem's turn to, like, help him out? I don't know. Let me know. Where do I find links for this stuff? Because, like, I, I always hear about, like, like things that like arguments or like you know bad blood or something like that that happens with Eminem but I never know where to read about any of these things like I just truly don't um and so I don't know what's going on here either but like I'm concerned <laughs> and it was like 22 years ago but I'm concerned um uh, you know like what happened and is it still an issue now or you know like I um, I hear in Eminem's voice like an air of desperation, and I don't know what it's about. I feel like they must have a very very close bond, which is so wonderful to see. And at the same time, heartbreaking. Because this song is like breaking my heart. It really is. You come back for fuck's sake! Still remember the shit like it was just yesterday, though. You walked in, yellow jumpsuit, whole room crack jokes. Once you got inside the booth, told you, Mike Smoke went to friends. Some of them I put on, but they just left. They said they was riding to the death, but where the fuck are they now? Now that I need them, I don't see none of them, all I see is Slim. Fuck all you fair weather friends, all I need is him. Fucking backstabbers when the chips were down, you just laughed at us. Now you bout to feel the fucking wrath of aftermath, faggots. You gon' see us in our lab jackets and ask where the fuck we been? You can kiss my indecisive ass, crack maggots and the cracker's ass. Lil' Cracker Jack beat, making whack ass backwards producers, I'm back, bastards. One more CD and then I'm packing up my bags and as I'm leaving, I guarantee those screen trade don't leave us like that, man, cause... Now I really need to know what happened. <laughs> like, seriously, this song is all about, you know, just trying to get my thoughts together. It's all about, you know, who's there for you when you're down. And I'll tell you what, in my experience, it's always the least expected person that you think is going to be there for you. The person that you think is going to be there for you won't be there. They'll be the first ones to pack up their bags and go. But the one who you think would would not be there is the one who's there. Yeah, I've seen that in my own experience. I've seen that with other people. And I'm wondering if this was like his way of kind of calling them out. Because it feels like that. I mean, I... Mmm... Goodness gracious. This song is heavy, guys. I didn't realize it would be this heavy. And then I'm packing up my bags, and as I'm leaving, I guarantee those screen trade don't leave us like that, man, cause...
Eric write his son? Man. I'm trying not to cry because this song was like really, really heavy. There's so much going on in this song. I explicit or not, I don't care. The, the message of the song is really something. Thank you to the person who requested this song. Really, great song. All right, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys like the content, you already know what to do. Um, until then, live your lives fabulously, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.